Since the health crisis 2020, physical distancing is causing strain in relationships for people who are trapped. Uh, I mean, I mean, people who are sharing their time and space together for the public good. In our happy existence, Father Matt, oh yes, soon to be Pastor Matt, sorry. We both are experiencing, of course, only the blessings of isolation. He is really such a fine fellow. He only thinks about my health and my well-being, as you will soon learn. Here is a small clip that shows how we are adjusting and exercising during this time of the new normal. Matt, aren't these walks great? I mean, it's such an opportunity to search for the good news and share it with each other. Good news is that we have this chance to go over broadcasting ideas, our schedules, time to craft homilies, to make lists for your chores. It's, it's great fun. You know, I must say, now that we're talking, that one surprise I had was that as soon as the confinement began, you asked to get a dog to share your time with. I mean, I would have thought our companionship was enough, but of course I gave in, and uh, it was a revelation that after all the whining you got, I want a dog, I want a dog, I want a dog, and you even named him Filipak, Polish for Philip, it seems to me four weeks later that I'm the one who's walking the dog. The good news is, again, I never complain or interfere. And another thing that's good news is with me around, you never have to fear long stretches of silence. Oh, look, look where we are at the shrine. Let's pray as we stay. You know, Joe, I have some good news of my own. I was watching an educational YouTube video that said people who are in prison together, I mean confined together and exercising together, should do so in complete silence. Silence while well, walking burns two times the calories, increases the heart rate and builds four times more muscle mass. Silence is healthy. Okay, then we should do that. Silence as in... Shh. You, what? 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 Hey Matt, I was wondering, would you like to start our meal with a refreshing beverage? Oh, yes, please. Okay, take care of it right now. Uh oh, look. Oh, what's happened? I think someone left the camera on. Oh, so I'm sure of it because look, there's the green light. Oh yes, it is. This is so embarrassing. Oh, we have our wonderful virtual friends we here. We have virtual friends, but if we were having company, or as they say today, guests, we, we could have prepared. Well, we're practically in disarray. I mean, the simple workman's meal, a weekday meal, and we could have even dressed up for you. Well, we apologize for the spontaneity of this, this humble surroundings. But I'll tell you one thing, if you're gonna join us for a meal, you can look forward to this. Every one of our meals has a lively conversation when we eat. You know, Joe, I was watching an educational video that said that those who were confined and eat together should eat in silence. Silence? Yes, in silence. A silent meal gives two times more nourishment and half the calories. Two times the nourishment and half the calories exactly. in a silent meal? Exactly. So what are you suggesting? I think we should start today and have the silent meals 
till June 29. Is that what the hourglass is for? Yes, it is. <laughs>